AAX is celebrating their one year anniversary by holding competitions, events, and airdrops all month long. Make sure to stop by the website and check it out. I'm giving away $100 of Bitcoin in the month of December with the Holiday Stash Giveaway. All you have to do to enter is like and comment on videos from now through the month of December, and a winner will be chosen on December 25th. Good luck, stashers. Secret Agent Stash. going on secret agents we're getting ready here and look at that right right off the bat right as soon as we jump in to our our the beginning of our show here and look i gotta get i gotta get into all of my into my uniform here we can't be in secret agent headquarters here without being in uniform right of course not why would we do that It'd be ridiculous but that's where we're at and thank you guys thank you agents for being here and for hanging out with me today and playing some blockchain games. This is what we do every week. Now, if you guys uh, were around last week, you'd be like, well, you, where were you last week, Sash? You weren't here last week. That's true. I wasn't. <laughs> so pretty much, pretty much almost every week. Almost every week I do this. And uh, it's just a kind of a fun way for, for me to uh, talk a little bit about blockchain gaming. Talk about what blockchain games are why they're important and then feature some really cool blockchain games that are doing things right now and so i've been doing this stream here for uh the better part of this year almost it's almost been uh well i don't know i guess it's not been a full year but it's been pretty close i started this stream as just a fun way to uh you know as a creative outlet here when this whole COVID 19 stuff started going down and uh it's become a lot of fun you know we have a lot of agents who come here every week and hang out and earned prizes and have you know gotten these uh, you know gotten some great prizes from the show, but also learned about blockchain technology and blockchain gaming at the same time. So I think that's a pretty you know it's a win-win for me, right? Not only do I get to play my favorite uh, blockchain games, I get to talk about blockchain games and why I think they're awesome. Uh, I get to help out all these teams that are creating amazing content and amazing games and, get, and getting to showcase them to you guys and then also give, get, get to give you away great prizes as well. I mean, how much better does that get, right? <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, you know, not like it takes any effort on my part. <laughs> of course it does. I don't just have all these costumes just sitting around. These disguises. Well, actually, yes, I do. <laughs> You know, I, I've talked about this before. So if you guys have if you guys have watched any of my previous Secret Agent Stash shows, you'll know that what we do here is uh, I start off here and we talk in, in in Secret Agent headquarters. This is the official Crypto Stash Secret Agent headquarters that we're in right now. You can see behind me, uh, I have all my 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 gadgets and uh, doodads and all my sweet screens back there that are monitoring everything going on globally when it comes to blockchain gaming. And, uh, you know, obviously we, I, I start off here, I'm, I'm in my secret agent, you know, uniform. This is just what I wear around the office, guys. So what I have to do is before we jump into today's game, like always, I have to get into a disguise, right? So that's what, part of the fun here is that there's a, always a new disguise, a different disguise I'm wearing every stream. And uh, sometimes the, 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 the disguises are themed and they go with a certain game or, or something. And sometimes I switch it up on you guys and I do something a little bit different. <laughs> but in general, I always have to get into a brand new disguise so no one knows that it's me jumping into the game. I don't want to go into the game in my secret agent uniform. That would be weird, right? I got to get into a disguise so I can blend in. So no one knows that it's me. I can blend into to, to the game. And today's game is war riders that's right we're going back into the wasteland agents and uh, I'm, I'm taking all you agents with me on this secret mission to jump into war riders to mine as much cryptocurrency as we can in this game and then destroy and blow up as many of our enemies as possible and that's right i know we, i got enemies out there i know that there's people that are gunning for stash in the wasteland for a couple of reasons i'm going to tell you a couple of those reasons here in a second uh, but, uh, but you know, in, in general, this is a game we played before. I have a lot of fun in playing and, uh, we're going to talk all about the game here before we jump in 
and a little bit about what's going on. But uh, how? But first off, how was your Thanksgiving? How were you? How were you guys doing in your Thanksgiving? I hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Uh, I know that I did. Uh, you know, just enjoyed it here with a lot of family uh, and hanging out. And uh, you know that that that's all I really need for Thanksgiving, right? Just to be around, uh, uh, you know, fa family and friends. So did did you guys have a good Thanksgiving? Let me know in chat, man. Drop me an emoji, uh, maybe a pumpkin pie emoji if you got one. <laughs> if, if we don't have a pumpkin pie emoji, what's going on here, guys? We need pumpkin pie emojis. So who who we got in here? So what what agents do we have with us today? Uh, that that are, are hanging. So we got P Wow, Secret Agent P Wow. We got Agent Richie M. Who else here is a returning agent? We got the Riz. Obviously, Riz is our mod today. Uh, thank you so much, Riz, for always being an amazing mod. Uh, he is the owner of uh, a really great website, uh, CastleCrypto.gg, that you can go check out a lot about blockchain gaming there. And. Um, who else we got in chat here? A returning agents. Mommy Crypto, what's going on? Got you in chat. D Glaze, what's going on, Glaze? Some of my longtime agents hanging out. Butter King, what is going on, man? Garev, Jumpman Crypto, all the all my long all my agents coming through. It's great to have you guys here back again. Like I said, after we did uh, our holiday, you know, off. I I, I took a week off. I, I didn't do actually. I didn't do my Theta stream that I do on Tuesdays earlier this week either. Either. So you guys are probably jonesing for some stash, right? You're like, where's when, when's stash gonna get on? When, when's he gonna get on? I, I need more stash. I need some more of that stash. Well, I'm back. Uh, and like I said, I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't done some some content for a little bit over a week now, but I appreciate you guys hanging out with me uh, and doing it. Uh, Riz reporting in. Yeah, Riz dropped a link for Castle Crypto. It's castlecrypto.ggs. Uh, Riz will drop a link there for us, our, our uh, longtime moderator of this amazing game stream. Oh, look, we got Maddie Devine jumping in through. A bunch of agents coming through, guys. So I appreciate you uh, coming through today. Uh, so for those that are new that are just jumping in and joining us, you know, this game, this this stream is all about playing blockchain games. We're talking, we're going to talk a little bit about blockchain games right now. Then we're going to jump into today's game, which is War Riders. We're going to jump into the game. I'm going to show you all about it. We're going to play. We're going to hang out. But before we do all those things, we have to get into a disguise, folks. That's right. So I can't jump into the game until I get into disguise. So if you guys have not seen this show before, maybe or maybe you see, you saw it and you you jumped in halfway through when I was playing. You're like, why is he in, a, in, a, in an agent's uh, costume right now? Well, that's me. I'm a secret agent. Secret agent stash. We do this every Thursday to feature my favorite blockchain games. So the first part of the show, we started like this. I talk a little bit about blockchain gaming, why I think it's awesome. I, I take some, you know, if you guys have questions, definitely let me know. Where's Riz? Well, Riz is here. Where's Agent Christy? Agent Christy's at work like she always is around these times. So uh, she's probably watching from afar. She doesn't She doesn't check in and chat unless she has something to absolutely troll me with. Otherwise, she doesn't ever come in and chat, guys. So my girl Christy will uh will, won't won't be here unless there's something to troll. Like she'll she'll want to correct me on something, or she'll chime in if there's something that uh, I, I I messed up. I'm I'm sure she'll chime in. <laughs> That's right. You know I'm I you know you guys maybe I'm sporting a little bit of the beard today. You can see that I'm bearding up a little bit, right? So you see a little bit of the beard here. So stash on point, like always. And then I'm, I'm getting a little bit of my winter beard going on because I'm actually, uh, later this month, I'm going to be hitting uh, Big Bear up with the family and we're going to be going on a little winter vacation, man. And it's going to be the first time that uh, that Mini Stash, my daughter, or the original Stash, we'll call her almost, uh, it'll be the first time my daughter has actually gone and uh, been in snow. So uh, we've done some snow type activities, but not been in the mountains for snow. So... Uh, yeah, emulating Bozak, yeah, right. So yeah, so I'm getting my winter beard going on. Nothing close to Ken Bozak. That that dude is a wild man. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> so so definitely, if you notice that, I, I'm bearding up a little bit. Any news when Sandbox might let the remaining lands go up for sale? You know, I'll be talk uh, pot pluck uh, plucker. I'll be talking about that on Tuesday next week, um, and we'll be talking about Sandbox and a couple others actually too. So.
Yeah, no worries on that land, uh, Jumpman Crypto. We'll, we'll talk about it over the weekend or something, man. I'm not in a hurry or anything, so no, no worries there. Um, but let's talk a little bit about blockchain gaming. I, I know a lot of you guys are already blockchain gamers, so I don't. I try and keep it kind of short and concise here in the beginning. But one of the things I love about I, I'm, I'm a big gamer. I always have been. Uh, and now that I'm also uh, crypto is another one of my my new loves, right? Crypto is another one of my new loves. Uh, I, I love the fact that they have, are kind of combining together. And you know, blockchain gaming is a relatively new space when it comes to blockchain type things. Really, blockchain gaming hasn't been around really for much more than just a couple of years. Uh, I have I am the premier blockchain gaming streamer. There's nobody that does it like I do it. There's a couple other people out there that stream blockchain games. Maybe they have one specific game they stream, but I do a variety of blockchain games. I I have been doing this for you know the the longest amount of time that most anybody out there has been doing it. And uh, if you want the the best in the best of blockchain games, this is where you'll find it. So one of the, the big tenets to blockchain gaming is being able to play to earn. And so that what that means here is that somehow by you, by uh, you putting your time into the game, you can somehow monetize your game or uh, and your time that you put into that game. Now, whether that's uh, by earning some sort of passive income in the game, by earning some sort of you know real world items or real real in game items that you can then sell later, right? For 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 some sort of, of value later. Uh, that I would consider that a play to earn, uh, you know, situation as well. Essentially, where you're putting your time into this game, and your time isn't gone to waste. You, you're you're actually getting assets out of your time that you can actually do something with outside of the game, right? Or you can, you know, or like so. So uh, right now, when you're talking about traditional gaming, you know, most of the time you're going in, you're playing these games, you're putting your time in, you're you're grinding, you're getting assets, you're leveling up. But you can't do jack shit with those items most of the time. Most of the time, you can't trade them. Very few games allow you to trade their in-game items, right, in a marketplace. There's a couple out there that do, but that's really what blockchain gaming is pioneering. Uh, the fact that you can uh, go in and you can play to earn somehow. You can earn uh, either crypto or real-world dollars or gaming assets that you can trade. Something that you can you, you are earning to be able to get back that you can sell back for some sort of real-world value, right? That's one of the main tenets here in blockchain gaming. The other one is the fact that uh, most of the time these are, these are NFT-based items. So the items you're finding in these blockchain games are, are blockchain-based items, right, that you could then move into your own wallet, uh, or and you can move into uh, possibly a marketplace to trade these items. So possibly you found this really great sword, or you won one in a giveaway, and then you can go and actually go trade this or sell it in a marketplace for Ethereum or for USD or something of that nature, right? So that's a, that's a, that's another factor that makes a, a really good blockchain game or, or defines a blockchain game itself. Uh, and so th those are some of the aspects that I think that are really game changing here that are changing the paradigm in gaming in general. You know, we've seen shifts in monetization in ways that, that, that uh, you know, development studios go about, uh, you know, monetizing their games. And I think this, this, this blockchain gaming based system is going to be the next big thing because it's great that you can sell an asset in your store for $50, right? And you've and as a game creator now you've made fifty bucks or maybe less depending on how it's sold and what it's sold through. If you're doing it through any apps or things like that on Play Store stuff like that, they may be taking a cut of those things. But uh, you've sold it once. Now it's out there. No one can trade it, right? So maybe you bought a sweet Fortnite skin. You can't. You know, people can't trade those things. So you're not getting any kind of action after the fact. There's no buying and selling going on uh, in third-party marketplaces that you get some sort of kickback on. But with blockchain, you can do that as a developer. So not only is it a win-win for players because they can uh, buy and sell these assets, they can trade them if they earn them in-game for actual real-world value, but developers are also going to love it because they're going to get a piece of that secondary marketplace. Think about how many times one skin, a super, like a super rare legendary skin that you know is legendary and is verifiably legendary, right? You can verify the fact that there are only 10 of these ever going to be created. You know that for sure. With a centralized game like a, a Fortnite, they could just go create more of those those skins and, and who cares? It's their server. They can do whatever they want. There's no way that you can validate how rare something actually is. So, you know, th this gives advantages to developers to be able to create verifiably rare assets that can be, then be traded over and over and over and over again to be able to get all those those fees, those third market, uh, you know, third party marketplace fees that they can then extract. So you, you could you could sell maybe this legendary item gets sold 20, 30 or 30 times in a month 
and they're getting a little fee after that. So not only did someone buy that for $50 in the store, now they're getting the fees from them being transacted in a third party marketplace where they can buy and sell things. So there's a lot of advantage to blockchain gaming in general over regular gaming. And I truly believe that this is going to be the future of how games are monetized and how games are created in particular, you know, uh, games uh, that have uh, really great robust systems where they need a lot of different NFTs for things. So uh, today we're we're getting into uh, we're getting into uh, uh, um, War Riders and War Riders has a really great system and they they have actually one of the most simple but fun and interactive ways to play to earn in blockchain gaming that I have seen so far. Let me see if someone comes to bring in land. Any comment about sp so yeah so Pollock man we're gonna talk all about uh, about some of these things uh, on the on the uh, the NFT watch uh, stream on Tuesdays so typically I focus on just one game on this stream on the Thursday stream and then on Tuesdays we'll talk about all the other things so definitely pot uh, pot plucker come back on Tuesday man and we'll talk some more about all the different land uh, sales going on and what else is going on right now uh and, and some other ones yeah i mean drug wars yeah 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 what, what did you expect <laughs> the calculator game was fun no doubt some but fun uh yeah so we're, we're gonna talk some more so uh, when it comes to uh, war riders the, the aspects of this game it's it's a game where you have a ca a, a, a car right kind of like you're in the wasteland of mad max series right in the mad max movie series Think about that that being the game, right? And so you're you're essentially you have the, these uh, these cars or these trucks or these vans or the hovercrafts or today, which we're featuring the dune buggy. You have all these different vehicles that you can uh, you modify using NFT uh, guns. So there's a different variety of different guns. Each each car is an NFT as well. So these cars are tradable on on, on marketplaces like OpenSea as well as the guns. And so you can go in and you can use these guns and these these cars right combined together to go not only destroy your your enemies but also to go and mine the the game-based cryptocurrency called bzn and bzn is a cryptocurrency that you can just go mine in this game by uh finding these mining locations uh as long as you survive to get it back to to the to the actual garage and then is your BZN and you could go trade it on an exchange and get real world value out of this cryptocurrency. So you go in, you can get a free, uh, if you want to play this game, it is free to play. You get a free war van to start off with. So if you're, if you're watching today, you can jump in and you can start playing this game for free and you get a free war van to just get started. It's already got some guns equipped to it. Obviously, you know, they're not the best guns, but you can go to a marketplace and go grab some guns that other people are selling right once again so we talked about this in this this kind of situation of how a blockchain game works and these are always tenants you can go buy the assets in a decentralized marketplace that other people are, are buying and selling from right uh if you were lucky enough you maybe you got in on the war riders pre-sales which happen a lot in these blockchain games they'll have pre-sales to fund the game and development itself uh, but War Riders has now been uh, active and out of uh, out of the uh, beta for you know closed beta for quite some time now. So, so yeah, uh, BZN is a, it's an Ethereum based token, so it's e an ERC twenty token, and uh, so you can go and swap that on Uniswap if you like. Uh, and I know I know it's on some other uh, exchanges as well. So uh, really cool, really cool stuff going on. So that that's kind of the basics of War Riders. You go in, you smash on your enemies, you mine real cri cryptocurrency, right? And you take it back to your garage before anyone can kill you. And then you you can cash out. You can crack, cash out that BZN. So, uh, so yeah, you know, uh, great. Uh, you know, so we got the War Riders team with us uh, today in chat, which is awesome. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, and our Moz Rid can post in the link to War Riders, uh, the website, so they can uh, download it right there. So Riz, if you could post the, the link to War Riders. So if you guys want to jump in while you're watching me today and you can play with me for free in the Wasteland, now is the time to go download the game and get started uh, so we can play us. And we got a great giveaway today going on, guys. So that's something I want to mention is that right now I have a giveaway going on. If you guys are new to Theta... Uh, you'll see the giveaway uh, just below the video. There's a little icon that looks like a bunch of cards. It looks like little cards. If you click that, it'll open up the giveaway tab. 
And right now I have a giveaway going on, a prediction uh, that is my, the first giveaway. I, I'm going to close this giveaway out here as soon as I change into my disguise. And we'll open up the big giveaway, right? The big giveaway is for the Dune Buggy, right? This is the limited edition Dune Buggy that War Riders was kind enough to provide today. And uh, they're going to be able to, so we're going to be able to give away this Doom Buggy. And in addition to the Doom Buggy, one lucky winner is going to get that Doom Buggy. And they're going to get three extra guns that, per, that were provided by Clan Cryptic Knights, which is a clan within the actual War Riders game. So uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. So you're not. So if, if you win this Doom Buggy on this next giveaway, which I'm going to start here right after I get into my new disguise. You're going to get a, a fresh looking dune buggy plus you're going to get three guns to get started three really good guns to get started with that dune buggy so uh this is an epic giveaway guys so don't burn all of your coins on this first uh, prediction that we have open right now and if you're if you don't know how to get into predictions or giveaways let me know and i can kind of point you in the right direction i have a really great tutorial here on theta about how to use theta <laughs> but I see we got a couple of new people here in the chat. So like I said, to get in on those giveaways, there's a little card icon. It's right below the, uh, the, the video bar here, or right below the video in the video bar. And if you click on that, it will open up the giveaway tab that shows the current giveaway and prediction. If, you, if So if you see mustache love is the current prediction right now, uh, then you are right, my friend. Then you are right. Um, okay, so we talked a little bit about blockchain gamings. We talked a little bit about war riders. And uh, the fact that we, it now is intense distribution inside of uh, War Riders. So we're going to go get that cryptocurrency. But before we can jump into today's game, you know what we got to do? We got to get into disguise. We're going to jump into War Riders right now. We're going to get in our disguise and we're going to do it. You guys ready? If you guys can guess the disguise, there might be a little bit of bonus for you <laughs> as well. Let's do it. Secret Secret. 
Wasteland Stash is back to rule the wasteland. If you are in War Riders, prepare to get defeated today by this stash right here. That's right. Wasteland Stash is coming at you all today. We're going to hit the wasteland once again. These are the bones of my enemies that have tried to uh, try to take me out in the wasteland previously. And so I wanted to wear them prominently today so everyone saw exactly what happens when you go up against Stash in the Wasteland. <laughs> All right, are we ready to do a little bit of Wasteland Warriors? So whoever uh, predicted Mad Max, that's a pretty good one. So I've done this one before. This is my Mad Stash. And it's kind of reminiscent, right, of a little bit of like Mad Max style. And that's kind of what the game is about, too. You wanted the clown. Shut up, P-Wow. You're not getting no clown. You're a clown. I got my Wasteland Stash attitude on, too, guys. So just be careful. Be careful for sure. Captain Jack. <laughs> uh, all right, so now we're here. We're, we're, we, we're in our new disguise, Wasteland Stash here. Getting my stash, Wasteland Stash going on. And uh, we got, uh, yeah, you were close, Richie M. Good job, man. Uh, I'm going to have to give you a little, special, a little special prize for that one. So Richie M. got pretty dang close. Uh, and I want to make sure that he gets... Yeah, you were close, Richie. I'm going to give you a little prize, man. Celestial crate for you, Richie, for for a, a valid uh, for a valid, a valid uh, guess right there. That was, that was as close as it's going to get. Down for that Mad Max <laughs> metaverse attitude. You know it. Going to smash on some fools. Okay, so uh, as I said, uh, I have I have one going on right now. I have a prediction going on right now and a giveaway. Uh, I'm going to start the big giveaway after this. I'm going to close this prediction. So if you didn't get in on this prediction, I'm closing it now. Mustache love? Yes, of course, mustache love. Come on, guys. So hopefully you got in on that. All right, so I'm closing this giveaway, this first little giveaway. I mean, we say little, but whoever's in this first giveaway, there's a G Fuel starter kit for you right there. I mean, that's pretty big, man. G Fuel starter kits are some of the best ones. And boom! Going to longtime uh, agent Pwow getting that G Fuel starter kit. Garev coming up with a spooky crate and Butter King coming up with that G Fuel crate. Congrats, guys. Uh, I am going to create uh, another giveaway. And let me get this up here because this is for, this is the big one. Crypto Susie Marie, thank you so much for making that ball drop. Getting my dance party on. You like that dance party? <laughs> no, P. Well, that's all you're getting, man. That's all you're getting. All right, so we're opening the giveaway. This is so now I've just opened the giveaway for the Dune Buggy. So this is a Dune Buggy package. You're gonna get a brand new limited edition War Riders Dune Buggy, plus you're gonna get three guns that were provided by my homies over at the Cryptic Knights. So we got a really this is a really great package for you guys. Whoever wins today is gonna be walking away a, a, a pretty fat uh, bag of, of, of prizes here. So. Uh, go ahead and get in on that prediction. If you guys don't know how to do it, put in chat, let me know, and uh, our mod Riz will direct you into getting in, entered into the prediction. If you're just joining us right now, you may have to watch the stream for a little bit to earn some of those gold coins that allow you to enter into the giveaway. You earn gold coins as you're watching. So for those that are new to Theta, the way you enter these predictions is you use these gold coins. It's only 100 gold coins uh, to be able to enter into a prediction, which is a giveaway essentially, right? And entering these into in these to pr uh, predictions, you just need 100 gold coins. So you can get those as you're watching the stream. So don't worry if you don't have any right now to get started. 
uh, you, you know, you could always build up some more here as where you're watching and you so you can build up those gold coins to enter into the giveaway today. Zinzo Joe, what's going on? We're about ready to get into the wasteland. You guys ready for this? Let's do it. Make sure you guys follow me because we do this every week, giving away massive prizes and we're doing some of my favorite games here. Uh, and yeah. And so, yeah, we're giving away the, the, the buggy with prediction. That's how, this is how I do it. Yes, five tickets is always the max on any giveaway. So any giveaway we have going on here, uh, five tickets is always the max. So if you've done five, you're not going to be able to do any more than that. Okay, let's jump into the wasteland. Nope, you just need to, uh, for the predictions, you just need to click the icon and predict yes or no. Obviously, the, the, you want to pick yes for this. Do you want to win one? Yes. If you don't want to win one, you pick no, then you're not going to be, you're probably not going to be <laughs> injured to win. Uh, yeah, if, you, if you're if you just getting started, you may not have any gold, any gold coins yet. That's what I'm saying. So you'll earn gold coins as you're watching the stream. So you should be able to have at least 100 before I draw this stream in the next like hour and a half or something. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Let's jump into War Riders. Oh, and it looks like we're getting ready to do a little bit of, it's rewards time. So if you guys don't know, so there's lots of things going on here. So if you guys are new to Theta, this is a great platform. Not only do you earn T-Fuel you, while you're watching me, and T-Fuel is a cryptocurrency that you can then use to either get cool prizes in the shop here on Theta, or you can send it to your favorite uh, creators like myself and support them. So you can donate T-Fuel to your favorite creators. You can use uh, T-Fuel to subscribe to my channel, right? Which gets you some extra things like emotes and things like that for the channel, which I just got uh, affiliate. So I don't have any emotes yet that are there for subscribers, but they're coming soon, guys. Trust me. The emotes will be coming soon. But another cool thing that I do here on this channel is incent giveaways, which is a pretty big thing here uh, on um, on uh, on Theta in general. And incent is a social cryptocurrency. Uh, incent is a social cryptocurrency that uh, is a lot of fun and you can get for free just by using the app and scanning this code or putting the code into the website and you get a little bit of that social cryptocurrency as well for free. So a lot of cool things going on here in the stream and uh, things that you guys can jump up. So this is only on screen for a little while, so make sure you guys jump into that. Okay, so we are logged in. So I hear this is this is essentially where we start here when we uh, when we go. That's weird that says code is not active. I don't know how you're redeeming it, PWOW, because the code is definitely active. Let me go look at Incent real quick. I, you, I, I've had people saying that that was the case last time too, is that it wasn't active and it's not being active or people can't redeem it. I don't know if you're scanning with the app, uh, PWOW, if you're trying to put it in or if you're trying to uh, put it in on the website or something, but you definitely need the app now. I don't know if you guys remember that. Yeah, it says that it's active right now, so I'm not sure why that would be the case. Sorry, guys. If it's not working, I'll have to look into the incense thing, but... The first is not active. Huh. Can you buy T Fuel directly from Theta? Uh, no, you cannot buy T Fuel. You can earn it on Theta just by watching the stream, or you can go buy uh, Theta. You can buy T Fuel on on exchanges. So T Fuel is a, a, a platform currency. It's not meant to like earn it on the current on the platform. Like if you're watching and then you earn ten T Fuel, you can't move it out of your wallet and then into your own wallet and sell it. It doesn't work like that. So if you earn T Fuel on the platform or move it to the platform, you can only donate it to streamers. Um, use it for subscriptions or buy things in the store. Well, oddly enough, we'll see. Hopefully the next uh, incent thing works for you guys. Uh, Riz says he still can't sub. That's weird. It never goes through, huh? Maybe try on a different, if you're trying to sub to me and sub uh, through here on Theta, maybe try, um, maybe it's because you're a mod, Riz. I don't know. Maybe you can't sub because you're a mod. That would make sense.
Yeah, so like I said, Instant is definitely going through some changes right now, guys. So uh, it's there. If you can get it, great. If not, I'll, I'll, yeah, the code seemed to be, to be bugged. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the Instant stuff. It, 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 they, they're definitely rolling out a brand new system. So uh, I'm sure there's going to be a few bugs and things in it right now. But we have seen a couple of issues here uh, since they've redone it. But anyways, it's a social currency that's that's at least fun to check out and to uh, to get for free here on the program, uh, if you can, <laughs> if you can actually do, we'll, we'll look into that. Uh, so, okay, so here we are uh, on the, I'm actually, I, gotta, I gotta take this thing up. Ah, that's much better. <laughs> so here we are uh, logged into uh, way, uh, War, uh, War Riders, into the wasteland. We're about to jump in. This is where you always start off. So this is your garage, and this is where you're going to have all of your different vehicles. So if you're just getting started with War Riders and you've just downloaded the game, you're always going to start off with a, a free war van. So the game is free to play. You don't need to buy any extra vehicles or any extra weapons. Really, uh, the the game is itself free to play. Uh, but they but they do start you off with this war van and uh, it is free. So it's definitely not the best vehicle in the game. It's probably the worst vehicle in the game. But it gives you an idea of what the game is all about. You can jump in there, you can try it out, and then if you're interested, you can then go buy extra vehicles uh, from the team, or you can buy them in, in some of the pre-sales, or you can buy them, uh, you know, off of uh, th third-party marketplaces like OpenSea. So you can see right now, I have four vehicles total. I have a war van. I have that brand new, sweet, sweet Dune Buggy XS, and then I also have a Chain Link War EV. So this is an electric vehicle. I, I, I love the fact that it has the horns here in the front. And then I have my good old SUV, right? So all these are different vehicles that all have different statistics to them. Now, the thing about that is that, uh, you know, the you know with each one they all have their strengths and weaknesses some of them are, are a little bit faster some of them are a little bit slower some are, are are more heavily armored some of them you know can can have some different stats so uh so in general you know each one kind of has its own thing going on right it has its own kind of thing uh going on here and I'm, i, I want to bring up chat actually real quick guys before we jump in here All right, there we go. Secret so, uh, sorry about that. That was weird. I think I must have hit the button to switch over to <laughs> to my other screen. Uh, okay, so uh, like I said, each one has their own their own kind of set of of, of different uh, um, you know attributes. So you can see the speed of the SUV is 107 with acceleration uh, 6.66. The BZN tank is 200 and armor 274. Uh, and you can see a lot different with this one. So uh, much faster, a better acceleration, much less BZN tank, and the armor is also less. You can see less than than the SUV. In comparison. The speed uh, of the dune buggy is a little bit slower, right? Uh, but a little bit uh, than than the, it's definitely slower than the chain link EV, but a little bit faster than the SUV. The BZN tank is not much better, but it does have a way less armor, which is uh, you know one of those things. It also tells you what kind of guns and stuff you can have on here. So you know main guns can have two. This one can have two alt guns plus one main gun. This one can have one main gun and one alt gun, and this one can have one uh, one main gun and one alt gun. Or that's what's equipped right now, essentially. So that's what's equipped on these things uh, right now, and uh, you know, so each one of them has different. So you can see the the war van super slow, right? Sixty seven uh, miles per hour, top speed, and acceleration only at four, and then a BZN tank of uh, five hundred. But funny enough, it has some of the some of the better armor for all the three vehicles that I have right here. <laughs> So, okay, so that's kind of what, and, and so you can see here, like e what each one looks like. You, The cool thing about this is you can customize these too. So you can see, I can change the color of my SUV. I can put my own logo there and I can also do, uh, you know, different guns here. So you can see there's no main guns on this one. I can come here and I can put uh, a main gun on this guy, which we'll do right now. Oh, I can't because that one is already taken. Let's put an alt gun on here. I think we have an alt gun that we could put on here. There we go. Because I want to put the other main gun on my um, 
on my other car. So we can do logo, we can do guns, all those cool things. You can see here, we got uh, a main gun, we have an alt gun on here, uh, and different, we haven't changed the color of this car, but we could change the color to something else. Oh, no, this one doesn't change color. I think it's just always blue. Some of you, I guess, the, the promotional ones, uh, because this one is with chain link, I don't think you can change the color. But we're going to change our dune buggy to less red. We're going to make it. We're going to make it puke green. <laughs> and then let's see. We got to uh, select a file. We're going to get this loaded up. And I think that. I think we can select a logo here and get this all set up. So I want to show you guys what this looks like. Oh, one of these is going to be the right one. Uh, let me find out which one it is real quick. Hold on, guys. I want to make sure my car looks damn good in the wasteland, so. Okay, logo text icon WR. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> there we go. Ah ha ha. All right, let's put a main gun on this bad boy. Saving changes, and let's put some alt guns. Well, I guess we only really need one gun here, so I don't, I don't need to put two. We'll leave that gun like that. Okay, so now we're outfitted. And did we have a main gun for this? No, we didn't, because these are both being used. All right, so now we're outfitted. Uh, you can see, like here, I've changed and I've customized my car now. Yeah, the rust color looks pretty cool. I like it. Uh, so, Mad Ed, great question on that about the buggy. So, all you have to do is contact me on Telegram if you're the winner. And I'll ask for verification through Telegram and your, your Ethereum address. Uh, and that's how we'll, that's how you'll know. And it says it too. So when you win, when you actually win the prize, those instructions are on that actual prize. So if you are the winner, it'll say it on the prize itself too. It'll say, here's how you redeem this prize. So, but great, great question there, uh, Mad Ed. I appreciate that. Okay, so uh, let's jump into the wasteland with our Doom Buggy. So you can see here we have vehicles, we have also weapons. So you can see all of your different weapons too and, and all the different, uh, uh, you know, attributes for each weapon. You can see that uh, I, I, probably, I need a couple more. I think I need like one or two more main guns is what I really need. I have a couple of alt guns, but I need some main guns. The team uh, at War Riders were kind enough to send me some assets and stuff, cool, which is really cool, and I appreciate that so much, guys. Uh, but yeah, you can see here, this kind of gives you the fire rate, stability level, you know, barrel, things like that, uh, all the damage level eight. So you can see all these things make a difference when you're jumping into the wasteland. Uh, and then also... There's a new thing that they're that we're looking at now, and uh, it's these different garages, right? So this is a new thing since we played Wasteland, and they have uh, a bunch of different uh, places that you can spawn now. So one of my biggest gripes of this was the fact that there was only one spawn point, and people would just camp that spawn point over and over again, and I'd just be sitting there, and just as soon as I come out, roll out, boom, 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 someone got me, right? But now, what is great about it is they've they've created they're creating these new uh, these new spawn points, right? And so you can choose to spawn in any of these uh, you know uh, in any of these points. You can see spawn allowed, no tokens required. But there are going to be points in the game that, that as the game expands, that you'll have to have a special token to spawn in that spot, right? So you can see same thing here. 
tokens one own so so same thing this is the og this is the og spawn point right and it's not the free one so you have to have a token to be able to get in here right and then there's also always an entry fee uh, stuff like that for uh, being able to redeem your bzn to at the at the garages so so this is where we start off when you start off with uh war riders and you got to pick a car to get going so today we're going to jump in and we're going to play uh the doom buggy to start so see, once again, here's our OG uh, base, and then the central location is here now down at the bottom. I've never spawned into the central location before, so I think we're going to start off here and spawn where we normally spawn, and then we'll go check out the central location here in a bit. Don't love the play the oh the pay to spawn places though, yeah you know I think that's actually that actually makes a lot of sense I think having a, a two spots that are free to spawn in so you, you don't have everyone just camping the same like a spot for free people right makes sense I think that makes a lot of sense but uh, I think that oh there's already somebody out there I think that it, that it makes sense to to have them be a spot where you can. Oh, there's there's my buddy Cypher Garden. What's up, man? Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, this is the this is the old school garage. They they would say this is the OG spawn point. Dune bugging it up. And then I got my buddy Cypher Garden over here. Let's see if who else we got that's gonna hang out here. Everyone knows they're like, go get stash. See, I see a bunch of cars already coming out, so we'll see if anyone starts to fire on me. Well, the Doom Buggy's little... There we go. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Let me know if the music is a little bit too loud, guys. I might have to go in and adjust that if it is. Oh, so yeah, they've they've changed quite a few things since I was here last. Doom buggy, it does not want to go up this hill. Go, go, doom buggy, go. <laughs> there we go. Each each car has its own like quirks and quarries to it, so you really have to kind of get used to it. I can see that just by playing the Doom Buggy here for a second that it definitely has a few quirks going on that make it a little hard to navigate. But the same, it was the same thing with the war, uh, the chain link EV. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck on a tree. So this one, this this one's very easy to oversteer. It looks like. Oh, back out, back out. Uh-oh, I'm stuck in a ditch. Am I? Nope, nope, I'm good. Let's see if we can climb up this mountain. Nope. Oh, maybe. No, we got to find another way around. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Am I? What notification are you talking about? Did something pop up that I didn't want to pop up? <laughs> Probably. Whew. This guy is not easy to navigate. Yeah, for sure. Going, yeah, the throttle, man, going forward is like super hard. It's totally different. You're right. You got to be very easy on it. I'm going to get it. I just wanted to.
Oh, you have no game sound. Okay, I was I was asking if the game sound was too much. <laughs> He's like, but there's no game sound, sir. I'm stuck on the wall again. Oh, come on. I got all the way up here. Goodness, come on. No, I think I'm stuck. I must self-destruct. Let me see if I can. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thanks for the bump there, buddy. Cryptomaniac coming at it, man. Thank you so much for that, that uh, Cryptic Knights boost there. All right. I'm here. I'm going to go slyly mine. I'm going to mine this crypto. Oh, there's nothing there. So I'm going to wait a second and I'm going to look at some chat real quick. <laughs> uh, Sim Dubey drives better backwards. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. I'll try it backwards. Let me go see what's up with the game sound. I don't know why it's not coming through. Yeah, you know, and the great thing about this game, too, is that uh, it has really cool music in the background. So I want to make sure that you guys can hear it. But for some reason, uh, it is not picking it up. I can definitely hear it here. You know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I'm going to put it through my speakers. There we go. That's why you couldn't hear it. <laughs> All right. All right, now you guys can hear that. Okay, great. There we go. We're ready to rock. So here is a mining point. So this is essentially what you're looking for when you go into the wasteland. You're looking to uh, you're looking to find these mining locations, right? This is where you go to mine cryptocurrency. And all you gotta do is just roll up on one of these locations and press E, and it'll start filling up your tank. And you'll see these. Uh, they'll have a, a random number of of BZN that are able to mine here. Uh, this one's already been drained. So no, none to mine here at the moment, but we, we did make it up here. So I just wanted to see if it would reset by the time we get up here and it did not. So, <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Thanks guys. Oh, there we go. So now we're uh, see a reset. And so right now we're actually, we're, we're, we're uh, what is going on in the wasteland is called intense distribution. So that's something they do uh, during special events, on the weekends, things like that. And it means that there's more BZN and, and the BZN goes faster than it does when, uh, when there's nobody, like when there's not intense distribution. So you can see someone was smashing on me right now. Okay, so now we got the BZN and we wanna get out of here. Oh my gosh, it drives like a dream backwards. <laughs> so we got some we got some cover there from the Cryptic Nikes uh, and Cryptomaniac is, is hanging out there trying to pull some cover. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Peace suckers. Oh my gosh, what is going on? No. All right, let's let's see if we can get back before. They... <laughs> there we go. So okay, so here's here's how it all works, right? So now I've gotten back to the garage. Now all I have to do is release my BZN. So you can see I have six point eight three. I press F to release, and boom, the BZN has now been added to my my BZN balance here at the top, right? So now that can't be taken away from me. Now if someone kills me uh, in the wasteland. Uh, they, they can't take that from me. So this is what you kind of want to do. And usually you probably go out there and get, oh, look, there's somebody already in the garage. <laughs> usually you probably go out there and get a, a little bit more uh, BZN before you started to do that. But, uh, oh, that's Cypher. Who, who do we got here? Agrocat. Oh, all my buddies, everyone here is there's Agrocat. This is looking sweet. 
Cryptic Knights hanging out. What's up, buddy? Aggro Cat in the house. We got all the rest of the, the crew here. We got some people who are protecting my back, which is great. All right, just getting used to this doom buggy is not easy. Who's this in the tank? Oh, that's Cryptic Knights right there. So the Cryptic Knights are my buddies. They're one of the sponsors of the giveaway today for those the guns that are going along with the Dune Buggy, which has been provided by the uh, War Riders team. So pretty cool. Let's go off and see if we can't find some more distribution spots. So now things have been changed up. The 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 uh, terrain definitely looks different than it did before. Boom boom doom buggy. Let's go this way. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Is that every one of these cars handles a little bit differently? Uh, this handles way differently than like the chain link EV, which handles very differently than the SUV. I would say the SUV is a pretty good all around vehicle. Uh, because it it handles really well, it has pretty decent armor, and uh, is there anything over here? And it's not super expensive or rare, which is cool. So it looks like maybe they've changed a lot of the spawn points, or things are it definitely look different here in the wasteland than they did last time I was here, which is great. I like when things are different. All right, so we're just looking for some spawn points here. I need the NOS, I know, right? I should have filled up my tanks. But you know what, with this car, I'm, I'm a little apprehensive about putting NOS on because I can barely control it as is, so I'm still getting used to it. We'll definitely need to uh, get some NOS action going on later. So that's another thing that you can do here is you can load up your, your NOS tanks uh, with using BZN crypto and NOS makes you go really fast. Oh my gosh, I gotta get reset here a little bit. NOS backwards. <laughs> yeah. I will say driving backwards is, is effective for the dune buggy, but uh, when you go into combat, uh, I think that's where it becomes non-effective. Oh, and it looks like we're getting close to the northern border here. All right, let's turn around. But yeah, I'll definitely have to get. I'll have to load this thing up with some NOS and get uh, and show you guys what it looks like. Or maybe we'll, maybe we'll put some NOS on like the chain link EV or something. <laughs> so the Dune buggy is a brand new car here, and so I will assume that they are probably going to make some improvements on on a little bit of the way that it works or drives here. I know. I mean, that's that's one of the, the things about you know a game like this that is is you know in some sort of earlier release is that there's always improvements to be made. And this and War Riders has, has actually done a pretty good job of making improvements uh, to the game here pretty steadily. But yeah, you would think that a dune buggy would do a little bit better in the dunes. Like it should have like maximum handling. <laughs> It needs four-wheel drive as well. <laughs> I 
All right, let's see if we can get some some destruction action going on here. Who's this guy shooting at? Oh, I don't know this guy. Get him in my sights. Boom. My goodness, he hit me like twice and my armor is gone. Get him. I don't even know what he's shooting at now, but I'm going to smash on him until he's dead. Oh, my weapon's overheated. No. I'm going to die. Okay, so I probably shouldn't have put these two different types of main weapons on here. <laughs> I'm going to get this guy. Even though I have like no health left, he destroyed me in just like a few smashes. Ah! Oh my gosh, someone else is coming. Oh, Cryptic Knights. Let's see where this guy's going. Maybe he's going to a distribution point that I don't know about. Boom, here I come, sucker. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Vehicle destroyed. Yeah, that tank was not fooling around. He's got a lot of... Hey, thank you so much for the follow there. Well, Wellig, what's up, man? Okay, so see now. What now? Here's another thing about the game. So once you're, you're you've been destroyed, each each uh, car has a cooldown timer of when you can f you play it again. So I can't jump in immediately with my dune buggy. I have to go get another wep another uh, car. I have to go get another car here. So let's go with the chain link war EV because this one's already retro out outfitted with a. At first thought we could hear sound, but you can turn it up, Stash. Very faint. Oh, okay. How's that? It, let me know if the sound is better now. I just had it turned pretty low. Let's rock this wasteland. Okay, yeah, I just had it a little bit too low, guys. That's all. Thanks for letting me know, though. All right, so here we are with our Chain Link War EV. So you can see it's a lot different, and it handles quite differently. But, man, it is fast. And it has some decent... I put some decent guns on it, but we'll see how it works. Let me go after this guy and see if we can... Look how fast he goes. How many War Riders players do we have watching right now? Is there anybody that is playing War Riders already? If you're playing War Riders and you're watching the stream, drop me an emoji in chat so I know. I want to hear. I want to hear about. Uh, I want to know who who is a War Riders fan and who's already playing. And if you're not a War Riders fan, if not if you're not already playing the game, uh, I want to know that too. Let me know if you're like, hey, new, this looks cool. I want to play it. Let me know. I see some action over this ridge. 
Uh-oh, what is going on here? Uh, look at these guys over here trying to get all the bees in. <laughs> that definitely threw them through a loop. Come back here. I'm going to get you. Ah, vehicle destroyed. So you saw that the whole their whole crew was sitting around that spawn point and they were uh they were getting that bees in, man. Trying better. Thanks so much for that follow. Making that dance party drop. So you can see now the difference here on this is the cooldown time you can see is a lot longer. It's three minutes on this one. So, you know, when you talk about like playing this game and then being able to like, okay, well, what if I only have the war van? Like, yeah, you're going to have to have some, t some downtime if you don't have a secondary vehicle that you can jump on and start playing with right away. Oh, RIP the four bees in you spawn with. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> You're totally right, Mad Ed. I did. I spawned with some bees in in that car, and uh, I didn't even realize that I had not released that bees in yet. There you go. Just one of those things. What do I think about Ith 2.0? I like War Riders mining of bees in better. No, I'm just kidding. It 2.0, I'm sure is going to be great. Uh, you know, I, w the main thing we really want to do is it's great. Okay, great. Rolling out it 2.0, but the transaction fees and things like that, that's what we really need to, to solve. I think that's the biggest problem with, uh, with, um, with what's going on right now with it, it 2.0. Dang it. It needs to solve that scaling solution, you know? We don't want to have transaction fees that are incredibly high uh, for people. My gun's overheated too much. I know it's a little bit it's a little bit campy to hang out here and just smash on some fools when they come out, but <laughs> see he's all pissed because I was like <laughs> That's right, turn over, turn over in your grave. If my guns didn't suck, I, I would have done a little bit more. Vehicle destroyed. Theta announcement today. I didn't see the Theta announcement today. Kingston dude, let me know what's up with that, dude. I've been I've been busy. Yeah, let us know, Kingston dude, of what the announcement was because I didn't I didn't I mean I'm sure that they did. I just didn't see it. I've been busy doing other stuff. In three, uh, definitely come back. I would say uh, in three, come back for my stream on Tuesdays. That's when we talk all about markets and crypto, and the crypto markets in general. You can ask my opinion on things like if 2.0, what's great for staking, pools, things like that. Uh, on this stream, we just focus on blockchain gaming and playing the game. So I'm not going to really answer uh, other questions that aren't related to war riders while we're playing the game. All right, let's get back in with the do buggy. Uh, I'm going to go spawn at the central location because I have not been at this one yet. So let's go check this one out. Smart contracts going on uh, live on Theta Mainnet. That's awesome. That's great news. Uh. I don't know what these guys are doing here, but... <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I'm overheated. Come on. No, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Those tanks ain't no joke, man. Those tanks ain't no joke. Let me get back out there with my chain link EV. Spawn at central. JavaScript SDK 1K Theta on the Xmas list. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'd love. Just buy me Theta for Christmas. Just buy me some Theta, guys. What are all these people just doing sitting here? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's rock this wasteland. So the 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 OG uh, one is not the same as what I thought. This is the this is the camp that I was always. This was this is what I would consider the OG spawn point, not the other one. The other one seems like the new spawn point. Dude, just lobbing missiles at me from a distance. See you guys. <laughs> the chain link EV gets some air here. I gotta let up on the throttle a little bit, probably. Issues. Especially when I go over the jumps. That's always my thing is I, I, I push it when I go over jumps and then I slide out. Yeah, that's some that's some big changes there for Theta, man. That's pretty cool. Thanks for letting us know, Kingston dude. I'll have to go look more into that. I just haven't I hadn't seen the news today yet. See if we can just hang out here for a second and get some BZ in while we look at comments. JavaScript SDK new scar small contest on Theta can be launched directly from the Theta web wallet using your existing address. It's easy to use GI. That's pretty cool. Uh oh, someone's coming to get me. Who is that? And he was gone and he was here and gone. Yo, thanks so much for the follow, Morsug. Getting that dance party on, man. I love it when that dance party drops, I'm not gonna lie. Zinzo Joe, thanks man. Hopefully you follow, dude. I do this every Thursday. We talk we talk about blockchain gaming and we do uh, a live game here every Thursday. Come on, respawn for me. Okay, it's not gonna respawn, let's get out of here. Oh look, there's someone just waiting. <laughs> That's the only bad downside to, uh, oh, there, it just respawned. Oh, too late, he got it. Uh, just as I leave, <laughs> That's so messed up. Just as I leave, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go, and then boom, it respawns. So uh, before there was another spawn point, you had to, I had to kind of like remember where all the spawn points were relative to that original garage, and so there's one down here that I remember. So let's go see how where if that's active or not. I don't think it is. It looks like it's not active right now. Oh, there's no BZ in there. Let's see. Nope. Oh no, there is. Grab a little of this BZ in. So what do you guys, if you guys haven't played War Riders, what do you guys think so far? Do you think this is a cool game? This is a game you would play? 
Are you are you excited to possibly win the uh, War Riders uh, merch that we have going on today? I mean, it's a, the Dune Buggy is pretty cool, as you guys saw. I'm going to go jump back to the Dune Buggy here in a second. Uh, let me see if we can go back here, though, and if we can uh, find another distribution spot real quick. Metal! Look at this guy. Just r comes, and how is he going so fast? There's some people who have been playing this game for a long time that have some pretty good power-ups and stuff. And I'm not sure sometimes how they're just smashing the crap on me. Because they got things like this, too. Oh, there's a whole other crew out here, apparently. And they all got the same color vehicles. Oh, that guy, he's taken off. So, uh, clans have definitely uh, cropped up here in the wasteland. And, uh... God, see, I just get smashed on. I don't know if it's my guns, if it's the level of my guns, or the level of my armor, or my cars, or what it is, but I feel like I, I, in, a, in a firefight, I never really stand a chance. Yeah, and I mean you're definitely fighting for the crypto out here. So you, you know you're getting your 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 uh, your car outfitted. You get some guns on it. You get some of the better guns on it. And uh, yeah, let me try one of these different guns. Well, these the gold maws are definitely the better one. <laughs> Over 100, 100 deaths. Yeah, I know, right? I have not done so good on the death front. And look, it's a freaking war zone out here. Oh, there's Butter King. See, the only bad thing is that this is a this is like a double missile build, I guess. I, I need to be a little bit more careful about how I build my guns and stuff. Yeah, see, like that guy, man. Nobody can j can really do much to those tanks, man. Those tanks are like tanks are no joke. Maybe it's just the guns I have outfitted here. Maybe that's really the problem. See, like I'm hitting, I feel like I'm hitting him with these rockets and it's not doing jack shit. Yeah, I mean, markets definitely drive price of good gear, uh, for sure. Yo, Zenzo Joe, thanks for throwing that follow, man. I appreciate that. So my chain link is still, my war EV is still on cooldown. Let me look at the alt gun here. Yeah, this is a, this is okay. I just need a better. I need better guns. I think is what it comes down to. There's too many. <laughs> I know, right? Let's go to the OG spawn point. I don't know why they call this one the OG, but I guess I guess it's just this is a new one to me. And it's great to see more and more people jumping into the wasteland. Uh, Sweet Tooth. Why, hello, Sweet Tooth. Yeah, it's cool to see more and more people jumping into uh, into the game because, uh, you know, I've, I've definitely played this. I've, I've played this game since before you could actually damage people with weapons. <laughs> and there has been uh, definitely a lack of players. But, I, you know, every time I jump in here, uh, there's way more, more and more people every time. I mean, there's a ton of people on right now, which is great. Imagine when there's like hundreds of cars out there. I mean, I don't, they'll, they'll have to limit, I'm sure, limit it, a server uh, to a certain amount of cars, or maybe they just expand the map as more people come. I'm not sure. Does anybody know? Um... K 
can you go to, to garage so we can see pricing? Uh, so the, the, the pricing doesn't show on the actual garage itself. So I, I could go back to the garage, but it doesn't show like the pricing for the vehicles there. Uh, you'll have to go buy vehicles like on OpenSea or something like that, and you can go check the prices there. But yeah, the garage itself does not show pricing there. So I don't really know exactly where I'm going. I'm trying to hunt for another BZN location that's close to this... To this spawn point. But I don't really know where I'm at in relative to the other original spawn point, so hard to tell. Let's go over this way. I see some trees. Trees. They got lots of new maps coming. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, because I figure at some point... Oh, there's Cryptomaniac. <laughs> at some point, uh, they're gonna have yeah. There's gonna be too many cars on a map where it's just gonna be it's it's just me crazy. You're not gonna ever be able to get any BZ in spots. Everything will just be smash, smash, smash. Which I'm okay with. I like smashing, but I also like mining. <laughs> so let's see where this what what this is relative to where we were before. Oh, I just saw someone zip out of here. So they, either this spot is done, or they already toasted it. Most likely they already toasted it. Let's go have a look. This is cool. I don't, I don't know if I really remember this graveyard from before. And that's one thing I, I, I will say is that, uh, you know, before I always talked about like, oh, no, there's nothing here is that it was hard because you know there's no real there's no mini map for this game like there's so there's no way to know where you're actually at on the map uh that's the only thing i would say that is kind of uh, a little bit hard to deal with is that there's no mini map and so i understand that maybe you don't want the bzn locations on the map but i think it would be nice to at least know where i am at in relative location to where another garage is at or something who's that oh cryptomaniac just following me around <laughs> Let's see if we can stay here just for a second and see if it will uh, it will respawn here. So the respawn of these nodes are greater and uh, quicker when they're in what they call intense distribution period, which they uh, were gracious to put on right now while we're doing the stream, which is awesome. Thank you guys, appreciate that. Um, try pressing pressing him. Oh, there is a mini map now. Oh, sweet. Holy crap, I did not I did not realize that. M for map. Everyone's like map, map, M. <laughs> the graveyard represents all total stash deaths. Yes, it does. Alright, so now so that's great, yeah. Uh, so that was one of the things is that I, there needed to be a mini map for me to, to understand like what where I'm at in relative location to the garages. Which is great, because see, now I know, like, oh, okay, I'm here, and now where do I gotta go? Well, I gotta go north. But I don't have a compass, so I don't necessarily know which way north is. You can see north uh, when you're traveling, because you have a little arrow, right? So if, so now I see I'm like going that way, so I kind of generally have to go back the way I came. But a compass would be nice, I think. I, I think that makes sense. For a game where it's a lot, a lot about navigating like this, I would love to have like a little compass up top that kind of just showed me you know, the top of the screen kind of just showed me in general where which direction I was going. So the other so the the so it's around the this side. I'm gonna go around the other side of the mountain because I want to see what's over here. Has M for map always been there? You can find a BZN location map in the Discord. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. I kind of like, I, you know, I, I like the fact that the, you, you don't know where the BZN locations are. That You kind of have to go around and find them. I mean, obviously, once you play the game for quite some time, you kind of get used to where some of the locations are at, which I've done. Uh, but with this new garage, I haven't really spawned over in this location much before. Uh, so finding the ones that are over here are pretty is, is a little bit new to me. 
not that I may not have been to them before, I just coming from the other location, I didn't know they where they were at. Let's see if there's something up here that I was missing. Nope. So I think it's kind of cool to be able to find... Oh yeah, here's the other one. So I've been to this one before. That graveyard one I have never been to before. So I don't know if it's new. Uh, but this one I have been to before. Oh, no, it looks like it's not ready. Is it? Sometimes hard to tell. Yep. See, it's hard to tell. So you really have to get up close to tell if it's if it's active. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell from a distance, but we'll see here. There's my backup right there, Cryptomaniac from the Cryptic Knights. Get my back. While I drain this thing. <laughs> it's good to have protection. Always wear protection, folks. Especially out in the wasteland. Yeah, I think that I just don't know. I don't know what the good combination of guns are. I really need to do some more research on the guns to get a little bit better. Uh, get my my uh, smash game a little bit more on point. All right, here we go. We're heading back to the uh, the garage here with 13 BZN in tow. You never know, guys. Maybe this game blows up and 13 BZN becomes like crazy amount of crypto, right? That's one of the cool things about cryptocurrency and about things like this where, like I said, I'm playing to earn right now. You know, you could be playing some other game, but you're not earning things that you could then, uh, you know, trade for real world value at some point. And I think that's one of the things I really love about, uh, about this game and about blockchain games in general, right? It's just the fact that, you know, playing to earn makes a lot of sense. And this one has a great play to earn model because it's you're literally driving around smashing on other cars and mining th with your car uh, And you know, it's just it's a lot of fun I mean the gameplay here is just I could keep playing this game forever as a matter of fact, so uh, I'm going to go change back to the doom buggy And I will spawn back here again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying out some things here. But yeah, so so the team has given some pretty good advice. You can go find a list of all the locations for the BZN spawns in their Discord. So uh, definitely jump uh, in the Discord there, uh, and or Telegram if you're a Telegram person. The Riz Armad just put it in there. Backstab him. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's come out here and see what's going on. Oh, I don't know who that was. Okay, so we're at the very tippy top of the map. Alright, so from this one, this is the closest one to get to, as we can see. So we know there's one here. There's usually a pretty, there's usually always a, 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 a spot it's pretty close that you can mine BZ in from, uh, from, from one of the, the garages. So that's what I found is that they made one close at the other place and there's one close here. But I want to find another spot here. There's gotta be one like more out this way. Uh, so I do kind of, I do kind of, it's, it's fun and interesting for me to be able to find the spots myself and like to then like remember them. So that way I'm kind of remembering the map and like where to go and how to go. But man, it definitely is great having like a mini map. Why am I going in circles like that? It's so weird. Yeah, the Doom Buggy is so weighted in the back, I guess, is that the tires come up and then you don't have any steering power. Oh, it needs to be four wheel drive. You guys need to make the Doom Buggy four wheel drive. What do you guys think about that? Should, we, should the Doom Buggy be four-wheel drive? So, because that's what it looks like. It looks like when my tires go up in the air, I have no way to steer, and so the back tires need to be steering too because they're almost all, they're in the air a lot. I think that would make the stability for the Doom Buggy a lot better. What do you guys think? How do you guys? What do you guys? If you guys have used the Doom Buggy or you own a Doom Buggy already, what do you what do you guys think about the uh, 
What do you think about the Doom Buggy there, chat? Where do you rank it in levels of, of awesomeness when it comes to the vehicles here in the Wasteland? Is it is it ranked number one? Is it ranked number five? Is SUV better? Is the is the tank better? What about the uh, all the other cool ones out there? There's a bunch of different vehicles. The hovercraft. That hovercraft is crazy, man. <laughs> but yeah, the dune buggy definitely does it does have trouble here when there's more terrain, when there's dunes. But I, I, it does. Like I said, each one of these things has its own little quirks about how to drive it. So you definitely have to uh, kind of understand that. I think. Uh oh. Who's this? That's Ivan. Ivan Fee. Ah, oh, see, I knew there was another one over here. Now where is this on the map? Okay, so it's right in the middle. He probably just came from here. Which is why he didn't want to fight. Yep. Okay, so so yeah, you can see this one's not active because it doesn't have the symbol. So that's how you know. That if there's no symbol there lit up, then it means that there's nothing there. Let's turn around and go the other way. Oh, look at that. I turned around like I wanted to. <laughs> Oh, it's meant to be driven backwards. Oh, no shit. I didn't know that. All right, let's drive it backwards from now on. I didn't know it was meant to be driven backwards. I just thought that people were like, yeah, you drive it backwards. See, there now, there you go. See, that's the only thing that something that sometimes that because you drive it backwards, the, the angle or the camera angle gets gets kind of messed up on you. That would be the only complaint I would have here then. Cuz yeah, the handling is way better driving it backwards. But see how it kind of switches camera like that sometimes? It's kind of weird. See it kind of switches camera on me every once in a while. But yeah, it kicks butt backwards. Backwards we go. Ah. Alright, we're gonna go this way. See if we can find somebody. Let's go smash on. See, like right there, you guys can see how it happens with, with the, the camera angle. Kind of like it flips it back around, but it does work. It does drive much smoother when going backwards. Yeah, it's much smoother. It's much easier to drive it backwards, I'm not going to lie. So uh, apparently it's meant to drive backwards because the engine is in the back of the Dune Buggy? I'm not sure. That's what they said. I wonder how that affects, like, uh, you know, fighting and stuff like that, too, because that's another thing that obviously you need to take in consideration. Is that uh, if you're driving this backwards the whole time, you know your guns are backwards now too. Um, your main gun isn't obviously. Your main gun can flip around, but the side guns they they have limited range in what they can kind of do. Slow motion. You see that? <laughs> that was pretty cool. Alright, I'm looking for another distribution point out here. I think I thought there was another one over here closer to this mountain range, but maybe not. 
I'm out in the middle of nowheres. I thought there was maybe one over here at the at the edge of this. don't see one over here. I thought there was one over here in this mountain somewhere. Need to keep aiming so it doesn't go into follow mode, yeah. Looking for another spawn point. Like I said, I have a couple that I know, but uh, I, there's got to be some more out here that I haven't. I know there was one like way out here somewhere that uh, I haven't. I don't go to very often. But see there, that's the garage right there, right? Yeah, that's the back of the garage, of the other garage. So no, I, I guess I passed it. I don't, I don't know exactly where it was at. Let me go see. We'll go hit this garage, drop off our tiny, tiny little amount of bees in. But hey, we played and we earned it. So we want to take it back to our garage and claim it. That's how we do. No mercy. Well, people have showed me many, much mercy here. I just get, like, as you guys see, I get smashed on mostly. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but we made it back. Let's, let's switch, let's switch back to, uh, let's go back to our chain link EV. Let's go back to Central. Let's rock this wasteland. Let's rock this wasteland. Oh look, nobody's out here when I came out. That's that's a first. That's a first. Okay, let's go to the one that's really easy to get to, which is over here. And there's another one out there I gotta go that way too. Oh, somebody's already going that way. So I know there's one over this way. There's one out there just behind that mountain ridge, but then I thought there was another one over here with like a ramp. Ah! That is not it. There's, I always forget where the one with the there's like two there's two really good ones. There's one with the ramp somewhere. It's like over a gorge. I always forget where that one's at. Getting 
getting crazy with my EV. You know, it's why I never let up on the gas. I never let up on the gas. I just keep going and going. No, see, that's not where I want it. I thought it was going to be. I thought it was toward this mountain range. But that's not right. Boom. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you guys are getting in on the giveaway that we got going on right now. Uh, all you gotta do is hit that little icon just below that looks like a bunch of cards. It looks like three cards fanned out. Uh, it's right below the video and all you gotta do is just kind of hit that and that will open up the, the prediction giveaway right there. And you can get in on this. Look at this guy. What are you doing here, Gigabit? Just sitting there, I think. Main weapon restored. Oh my goodness, come on. Where'd he go? I lost him. Oh, no, there he is. Well, that's somebody else. I took off already. No! Uh, that's funny. I'm sliding all over the place. Alright, let's mine this. Ha ha ha! I made that guy leave and then it just, it just respawned right now. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get this back to the garage. You know, typically people would probably go out there and they do a lot more mining before going back to the garage, but since I'm clearly not very good at smashing, I gotta go back to the garage after I get a little bit. Ooh. Maybe we can push it and we'll see if there's some over here. Oh, someone's already going there. Uh oh, we got a contender. Oh, that's Aggro Cat. Ah! My buddy Aggro Cat out here. Providing a little cover. See if we can get back to the garage. Yeah, make sure you guys get in on that giveaway because... Oh, dang, they're, they're duking it out of the garage. Ah. <laughs> I made it through all that madness. That was awesome. All right, we're gonna try and uh, smash on a couple other people. Yeah, make sure you guys get in on that giveaway because uh, I'm gonna draw it here in just five minutes. So five minutes to get in on that giveaway. Uh, if you've been waiting around, we're gonna draw the winner uh, here in just five minutes uh, after we do just one more uh, round here. We're gonna do one more round. Massive carnage. It is, there's like massive carnage going on right here. I just wanna see what's going on. Goodness. Run! Oh, there's Zinzo Joe. <laughs> Zinzo Joe? Ha 
clearly this is a whole you can see everyone has their cards the same color so this is clearly a clan here it's smashing on me you know it's funny most people seem to be using the SUVs right now at least oh flip goodness Oh, oof, oofs. Let me go back in. I didn't mean to go in there. Someone must die by my hand. Ah, oh, dang it! <laughs> I keep I keep going into the garage because it's so close. The battle is so close. I'm gonna get Zenzo. I see him. I'm just going for anyone who's in purple, because they've been jacking me up. Take that. Boom! Zinzo Joe down! I took you out, sucker! <laughs> I told you I couldn't leave this stream without getting one legit kill. That was that was semi-legit. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get Tendo here, because he was definitely smashing on me quite a bit. Who's in this war van? Agro cat with look at that, look at that sweet ass flying hovercraft that Agro cat has. That thing is sweet, man. Oh, these look like landmines, huh? <laughs> All right, we've showed our dominance. We've we've now been in the wasteland. We've mined BZ in. We have successfully got it back to our garage, playing to earn. Right, getting that value out of this game. We've gotten protection by the cryptic knights. Uh, and we've had a lot of fun. I, I mean, I've died a bunch of times, but uh, we're here. We did it. And this game is great, man. This is, I, I have a lot of fun playing this game. Cancer sticks. They're gone. Oh, boom. <laughs> So there we are. Uh, so what do you guys think about about War Riders? I, I actually really enjoy this game. I hope you guys have enjoyed it today too. I think the community has been great. Zenzo Joe, thanks for letting me uh, smash on you and get one verified kill <laughs> before I left the Wasteland. Because otherwise, Wasteland Stash will come for you next time. That's right. But now what we got to do is... Uh, now what we gotta do is we gotta uh, do this draw before we before we our uh, call it mission complete, right? Because we can't have a mission complete without this epic drawing. So hopefully you guys got in on this current prediction uh, that I have below for this. This is for the Doom buggy. So uh, we're gonna make sure that everyone can get on this. I'll give you just a few more seconds. If you don't know how to get in on the giveaway, let me know right now this second so I can instruct you on how to do it, right? I can instruct you on how to do it. So yeah, uh, T fuel. I mean, yeah, you don't earn a ton of T fuel by watching, but uh, you do earn some, which is great. You do earn a little bit. I do. I still have both. They're still here. I have both eyes. Um, all right. So if you, everyone who has got in on the prediction is now in on that prediction. Hopefully, you guys are going to this. And congrats, whoever wins on this. So let's let's uh, we're going to close this out. Want to win a win a War Riders Doom Buggy? Yes, of course you do. The answer has to be yes, guys, or you can't win. 
So, all right. Uh, prediction closed. Let's close the giveaway. And this is, this is for all the marbles. This is for all of the guns and the dune buggy. Here we go. Who is the winner? Boom, boom, boom. Congrats to Richie M. Awesome, man. Richie M has been a longtime agent here on Theta. Congrats to Richie M for winning the Dune Buggy from War Riders and the three pack of awesome guns from the Cryptic Knights crew, man. The 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 clan there. So big congrats to, to you, Richie M, man. You're the big winner today, man. That's a that's a big score. A lot of people were looking to get that. So hopefully, uh, watching Roar Riders gave you uh, some ideas of what the game is all about, why you might want to jump in. You can see there's a great community of people out there. There's clans already going on. You can jump in their Discord for a lot more fun and action there. And by far, one of the best uh, crypto-based uh, play-to-earn games that I have played so far. When you talk about all the other games that are out there, this one has great gameplay. Time and time again, I, I feel myself coming back here wanting to play this game, wanting to go out there with my buddies, uh, have my back. They have my back out there. Uh, all all the, the homeboys out there, Crypto Maniac, all the Cryptic Knights. My homeboy Agro Cat is out there also as well, and and uh, Cryptic Cipher was also out there providing some cover. So thank you guys uh, for all of that. And. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, and so I'm going to have to call that mission complete, uh, agents. That is mission complete today. And I appreciate you guys being here. We do this every Thursday, uh, secret agent stash show. I'm a secret agent and I change into different disguises to be able to jump into my, uh, my favorite blockchain games. We, we talk about why they're the best, why blockchain gaming is the future of games and why it's important to understand that now and to get in on this now before anyone else does. You should be a part of this revolution like I am being a part of this revolution and I appreciate all of you agents being here with me every Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific. That's midnight if you're talking about UTC. Uh, I know I got some people who are overseas that, that like to watch, but I always upload the videos to here on Theta and I'll upload them to my YouTube channel. So if you're not following me on YouTube, make sure you go follow me on YouTube. YouTube.com slash crypto stash uh, and I upload all my videos there as well so you can go watch all of the past secret agent stash shows to go see any of the cool actions or other games that I played if you're looking for other blockchain games to jump on so grats to all the winners today uh, if you guys are gonna if you guys want to stick around for, uh, here for a second I'm going to uh, give away some uh, I'm, I'm, we're gonna do a, we're actually we're gonna we're gonna do a, um, a raid on somebody but I want to give away uh, two in the morning here Wow cryptomania that's awesome, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna give away some chess here, so stick around. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a raid on another stream right now before we sign off because this is mission complete. Yet another secret agent stash mission in the bag. Thanks to you guys. Thanks to the War Riders team. Thanks to uh, to uh, uh, our mod uh, Riz for holding it down. And I appreciate, it, man. Two a.m. Wow, you guys are up super late. Thank you guys so much for the support and being it so late here. I, that's so that actually means the world to me, man. You guys. I don't I don't do this for like a full time gig. I do this for fun and have people who will stay up till two a.m. have a great time together, love playing blockchain games, or just love gaming with me. I, I mean that actually it, it, it actually dude much love to you guys. I can't tell you how much that means to me. Uh, the fact that these that, you, that I have a great community like this, and if you guys want to be more a part of the community and see what's going on uh, throughout the rest of the week when I'm not here on stream. You can go join my Telegram group, the Crypto Stash Club, and we talk all about blockchain gaming and NFTs there, and I do giveaways there sometimes too as well. So I do a lot of cool giveaways, so you can jump in there and follow me there as well. But I'll be back here every Tuesday and every Thursday like normal uh, for all of your crypto goodness. So let me give, I'm gonna give away a couple, I'm gonna give some items, guys. So if you're here in chat and you've been in chat, uh, let me know and speak up here, and I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna start sending, dropping some gifts here. Uh, Rich M P Wow. So if you were here in chat, let me know. I'm gonna just I'm gonna start dropping some gifts on you guys. Zenzo, thank you so much for hanging out, Zenzo. You're getting a crate, crate for Zenzo. Kingston, dude, thanks so much. Crate for you, buddy. Crypto Susie, a new follower. Thank you for following Crypto Susie. Rit Riz as always hooking it up with the mod. You get a crate, you get a crate, and you get a crate, and you get a crate. Everyone's gonna get some crates now. If you guys have been in chat and you're here, I'm gonna give you some crates for, for being active. Being active here. And War Riders team for being super awesome as well. 
I'm going to send you guys some cool stuff. Since you gifted me some cool stuff. Potluck, thank you so much for hanging out and asking questions. Jump on the Tuesday stream for sure. And uh, we will we will talk a little bit more uh, about more, uh, you know, about uh, crypto focused stuff. So NFTs, uh, the, the, you know, the whole scene in general, we're going to we're going to talk about all that stuff, too. So. All right, guys, that's uh, mission complete. Secret agent staff signing off. We're going to go raid somebody who deserves a raid here that doesn't maybe have a lot of people. And uh, let's go on. Oh, Sloppy Derek, let's go. No, who else should we who should we raid here? Vessi, Lady Rebel, New Kid, Team TNT. Let's go raid my boy Sloppy Derek. He's playing Counter Strike right now. When you guys when you guys go on the raid, make sure you say you came from Stash's channel, came from Stash in the wasteland. Make sure you let him know. All right, Secret Agent Stash signing off, guys. See you next time.